welcome to another episode of Little Talks. Where Little Things Matters. And yes, I hope you don't forget who we are. As you all know, my name is Ihato Faith. And my name is Kazimu Mulola. And on today's section, we are going to be talking about something that is really general. It's practically everywhere, but then we just decided to, you know, still bring it up to the show. And it's all about hygiene. So today we are going to be talking about our hygiene. So, how do you see hygiene? What do you say to hygiene? Well, you know, hygiene uh, uh, is conditions of practice that yeah. really um, maintain good health and also okay. prevent disease. Yeah. So the main thing is hygiene is like cleanliness. You know, that's clean, that's, that's just it. the basic it's cleanliness. It's cleanliness helps to prevent disease, mm -hmm. makes you presentable and all that. That's just that makes you avoid embarrassment. Yeah, it, it definitely does on all levels. Yeah, so one question that I am going to ask in this show is can one be, you know, very hygienic, too hygienic? Because I, I made a research and I saw that they were like, yes, and people were making comments on that, the section where they had it, and they were like, yeah, one can be too hygienic, you know, for individuals that are very particular about their environment, they want to make sure there is no grain of sand and it, it comes from a mental illness stuff. Okay. Yeah, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah, that, so that's what it's all about. When, if your bed is like that, they made their bed in the morning, like they actually want to see that Red it's well laid. laid. If another individual should step on the bed and probably lay, lay it back, they will know. Do you understand? So that's. They are just being too hygienic. Well, I don't think that's like part of being hygienic because I wouldn't say I'm too hygienic, but then I still like my things left the way I left them. Like yeah. arranging my bed, you coming to rearrange for me. To mm -hmm. me, trust me, it's never going to be. I, I would not be satisfied with it. Okay. So I would still, if no matter how neat the bed is, as long as it wasn't made by myself. I would still go back there to late. You see, are you sure you are not? But that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's yeah, no. I don't think that's been too hygienic. hygienic. No, because the people, these individuals that have this, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder, they're all with the mindset of probably it's dirty. You know, that's just how it comes up. Like it's dirty and it's not clean. The mind is how it's not well arranged. Well, it's not well done. Okay. Like I would have done it. Yeah. You know, so seeing a grain of sand on the floor disturbs them. It's just an issue. Like they really do. They are very clean. I've seen someone very. Is a guy for a guy. You know, for a guy. It was. It's, he's very clean to the extreme. Like. Normally you go outside and you definitely get sound back to the house and all of that But I don't know how he does it but he's extremely clean I tell him all the time that he should check himself because it's to the extreme If you know it kind of troubles people around you but then it's not a bad thing after all Cleanliness they say is next to godliness Yeah, so now we are going to be moving on to Personal hygiene. I think we have the types of hygiene. Yeah, yeah there are basically two types of hygiene. Yeah. That's the personal hygiene and the environmental hygiene. hygiene. Now yeah. you know that environmental hygiene is also like categorized into two different types, which is so, yeah. the domestic hygiene and community hygiene. hygiene. So yeah. let's just say in total we have like four types of, of hygiene. hygiene, but two are basically under environmental, environmental hygiene. hygiene. And I think when it comes to community hygiene. Our country have really made it possible that every last Saturday of the month is like environment. Yeah. Yeah. How many of these people have participate in this environment? Back then, growing up in Delta, I think every sa every Saturday, every last Saturday, I don't know, it was really something. When it came out at first, people were actually coming out to see individuals. That place was young guys. guys. I think they were arresting yeah. people. Um, yeah, that that is, yeah exactly. Yeah, it was active and there. it was really nice. People were outside. You Come together, clean up the Breaking water. The water yeah, yeah. Like that. you know, everywhere was actually organized. But now, it's just like a ritual. Now, people just observe. Now it's, it's, just, it's just like it's just like another public holiday. Yeah, where you get to sleep, to rest, you know, to you know, especially for individuals that work on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for anybody, like you just have to set your time. Once it's last Saturday of the month, just now you are not going anywhere. It's just to the time to ten. Mm -hmm. You are not going anywhere. 
but really I've so it would really be nice if they still, you know, make it active as it was before. Like every last Saturday, you know, co just come up, come out of your house, clean up the grasses, clear up the gutters and all the, you know, dirt around. You know, it really makes your environment pleasant and also avoids diseases and creatures, Lines, animals, all of that. Yeah. That could actually, you know, harm your food, stuff and, you know, stuff like that. So moving on to the other type of hygiene, hygiene, you do personal, that, hygiene. personal hygiene. Yeah, I think this is the main point of hygiene. Because as a being, as a person, you have to be clean. You have to be hygienic. You know, and one of the ways that you can achieve personal hygiene is always taking your bath. You know. So how many times do you think it's one well, should basically, have about, yeah. basically, I would have said at least twice, but you know, due to the society and things, not everybody really has. Let's just at least once a day. Once, once a day, day, yeah. You know, there are, things, there are some people that would stay a whole day without having their bed at all. A whole day, like, like have without having their bed at all. So let's just say at least once daily, please, just try, you know. But really, I tend to like imagine how the people survive. Because first of all, in the season that we are currently in, like this, it, it, this hot, yeah. hot the season, heat. I can't really even imagine someone you be at home all day without mm -hmm. taking your bath. How do you survive? No, no, like, you know, you know, there, there's some people. Okay, I, would I say when I was the first time I traveled, I was going to Sokoto, okay. and you know, it was like more than a day journey. Yeah. So at that time, you know, you wouldn't expect us oh, to drop okay. from the bus. Aside from the morning. Like the day of the journey, like, yeah, yeah, you know, we stayed like overnight, still on the journey, and mm -hmm. aside from that, but trust me, then we got down from the bus. <laughs> I was looking for the nearest bathroom <laughs> because I don't know, I was personally feeling dirty. Yeah, you know when your body will all be I was itching and yeah. all of that stuff. And I think I usually have that with my face. Like once I'm not taking my bed, my face will always itch. Wow. And I'm this kind of person when I try itching my face, my face turns red. Yeah. So I just you know. You see, that's one thing face. for someone like me. I've not really been in a situation where I didn't have to take my whole bath mm -hmm. for a whole day. But I'm used to it when I just wake up. I take my bath. So even though I'm not going out, whatsoever I'm doing, immediately I wake up. In between eight and nine, I should have my like. I don't even care what's happening that day. I don't even care what I'm doing at home or if I'm going out. But at least I should have my bath at that time because I feel like I'm used to it now. It's something I do. So if I don't do it at that point, I'm uncomfortable, like terribly uncomfortable. It doesn't make me feel comfortable and all of that stuff. But in situation where we find ourselves that we like for scarcity of water and all, you can just take um wet clothes, wet clothes and you know and just clean up yourself. Just yeah, yeah. To, like just allow so, water to touch you. Just because it's everything. really needed. It's really needed. Taking a bath all the time is really needed. So another point and ways to achieve personal hygiene is brushing the mouth. Exactly. This one, this particular one. <laughs> I don't know how it comes up to people, but also I'm going to ask how many times do you think it's appropriate for one, one individual to, you know, brush? You know, like let, me, let me just say this. You know, it doesn't really matter how many times you brush. Oh, but yeah? How do you make it? Like, how long do you keep your breath good? How really? long do you keep it? Do you know there are people okay. that still brush in the morning? They're like, towards noon, they already have bad odor. Oh, wow. So it's not really like, I don't know. Is it, is it, is it because really, of, is it a mental. Um, a medical issue or it just happened i wouldn't know but i know for sure there's one thing that causes it yeah when you don't talk for a long period of time like when you're when you're mute for a long period of time the moment you open your mouth to talk there's this mm. odor that comes with it wow so i know that for sure but you see the medical aspect or whatever research aspect i yeah. do not know about that you know i was i was making a research and the research was like individuals should be able to brush their teeth immediately after every meal yeah, like I you have that too. every meal, and I think it's really nice because it, at the end of the day, like it helps to you know avoid tooth decay mm -hmm. and mouth odor and all of that. Too. And I was like, yeah, for so many people that ha take chocolate, lots of chocolate, you know, imagine after having chocolate, you have to you know brush. But your do, do you know? You know, I don't know. Let let's try to be realistic. Do you okay. think that's possible? no? It's not realistic. Do you not? Re you're not always at home. You're going out. <laughs> Would you go with your toothbrush? Even, even when you're at home. 
the way you're in your home is like it's way above the limit. Because like, the thing is, especially those people that can't keep their mouths not moving. Yeah, but then it's eat now it and I'm brush. And then come the back to eat. Then go back. Like, like I'm someone like the old day in the bathroom. As in, exactly. Someone like me, I I really I don't eat a whole bowl of food at, at once. once. I eat bit by bit. So at the end of the day, I, I might be eating throughout the day. When you accumulate, I'm really eating a lot, but I eat with them. So imagine an individual like me, faith, I'll eat one and then brush it. No, it's, it's just, just crazy. Dying. But then that's what research says, and but it makes sense. Morning but and night. Yeah, listen, being real, being real in the real world, that's a whole lot. So it's just okay if we take our bath, if we brush our teeth in the morning and at night. So it's really nice, and we should make it a habit that. When you wake up in the morning, always brush. try to brush your teeth and before you go to bed. I think so many people don't do this before going to bed. It's actually nice. Really? I don't sometimes. Sincerely, I don't. Yeah, sometimes. But I just feel like if you keep doing it, it becomes an attitude. Like it's just something. It's but a, I, don't, I know of someone you. that like don't just wake up to brush in the morning. He yeah. Make, he make sure he eats first, then bro he brush then brush after, after, after he eating. tells you like you just wash out the remains in your mouth and because instead of brushing then eating then going out that's why you still see pepper in your teeth you see, so you, you'd prefer I think, eating that, I, first. I think that that should be the real approach i don't know i don't know but then but for an individual like me immediately i wake up i, I can't talk to you i'm yeah. just i can't talk to you without brushing my teeth like immediately i wake up i'm going to the bathroom i'm brushing my teeth i'm used to it I'm just I, talk. I, I can even at least spend hours without brushing. I but know, then, like I that can. in the morning. But then, trust me, I would like to brush before eating because I, think, I don't know how you guys. Move, I don't know how they feel the taste without brushing. Like really, the I food know, is right? always the food is always weird in my mouth. Like, it's different <laughs> eating something without brushing. Like when I was in school, when I was in school, I stayed in the school hostel. Every morning, you can imagine waking up every morning. You literally with me and be like. Like my roommates got to just know that okay, Faith. They, at first they were like, Faith don't talk in the morning when she wakes up, and they were like, I'm not a morning person. But then later, afterwards, I meant them to understand that no, it's just me because I've not had, I've not brushed my teeth or something. But then over time, I still had to you know learn because it doesn't make sense. It's it's just, it doesn't, doesn't make sense at all at that point. But I still had to you know learn how to come around it. So what I'm trying to say, like it's. It, when you do it all the time, before you know, it becomes a habit. A habit. At first, you do it intentionally, and over time, you see yourself. Okay, once I wake up and just brush my teeth, and before going to bed, at least I should brush my teeth. So, moving on to the next. And I think step. sorry. And I think okay. one thing that helps is always have mentor something in your bag. Okay. So like, yeah. For along fresh the line, yeah. yeah. Okay, along the line, you just you know you can always go mm. to your bag and. Put something in your mouth. when you have to communicate with people, and you know you've not spoken for a long period of time, or you know, I don't know. I, I think bad breath is kind of is something you can feel. Really? Wait, I think I it's something know, you I can feel. Think so. I think it's so. no. I think the taste of your mouth would be different. Huh? I think so. No, it's wow. something. I think I, I don't know, but that's okay, how I okay, feel. Okay, 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 yeah. Like when I wake up, that's how I feel in the morning. Like mm. there's this taste in your mouth that is kind of sour or something. Yeah. So I think I you should know it. when you have a bad breath. But having a mentor in your bag is just something to know to. Like, but able to. having a mentor is it scientifically proven because for individuals like me, I'm very particular of sweets and chocolate and all of that stuff. So how how often do yeah. I have to take it? That's, for fresh that, bread. I think that's that depends on that you personal know, yeah. decision. Okay. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you to take it. It's not. It's not a medicine. Not okay. Medicine. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Okay, so. when I feel uncomfortable about yeah, once the you feel uncomfortable with your breath, breath you just throw something in your mouth. So that's that's really a nice tip. Having a mentor, and really, it gives fresh breath. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. So moving on to the next tip on personal hygiene, I think this is majorly for the ladies. Is washing your hair at least mm-hmm. once a week. Well. How many of us ladies wash our hair once a week? How many times do you wash your hair? Like, let's be real, though. Let's be real. I wash mine once in two weeks. Once Every Sunday, week. like in, on Sundays, once in two weeks. I wash mine once a month, at least. 
Adjust well, it depends on the air I'm carrying at yeah, that time. At that yeah, at that point. If I'm on like fixing, like on weave on, yeah. uh, wouldn't. It depends on how long I carry that till I use it. But really, away from just washing the hair once a week or once a month or whatsoever, we ladies should really be mindful of the aroma or the smell that our hair brings out. You know, some people, they, they don't know. You might just get close to someone's hair and you're like, Oh my god, yeah. what's, what's happening? What's happening in the community? I don't know. This is like this you is know? this is something that I know it's, it's part of me. No matter I personally would like the smell of hair cream. Okay. So once I cream my hair, why spraying myself? I still spray my hair. I don't wow. know. Why I, I thought I'm the it. only person that do that. I do that a I lot. still do it. Like, I do that a once lot. I spray myself, I spray my hair. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's it's one thing I know for sure I'm addicted to. Like, I'm ad- it oh, I'm so. As, I'm so addicted. Like currently, I'm not using any perfumes because of harsh weather condition. Mm-hmm. When it's this hot, I, I react to. But when I'm going out, I make sure I spray my hair, even though I don't spray myself. Like they must I do for spray me. my hair because I'm so mindful of how my hair and is. And I'm the kind of person, you yeah. know, like other people. So I wonder how. Okay, so I'm not like, oh, no. so, <laughs> it's like something we ladies have to check because I'm a lady and moved close to lady. I remember one time when when school I know how schools are now. So our course advisor was to sign um, something for us. So students, everybody. So we were all together and he was like, You girls, do you know that your hair used to smell so hard? Like it's like you supposed to get away from my office. Like it really goes on weevons. He chased everybody away from the his sweats, office. The sweats, the you know, the sweats, yeah. the air cream, the um, air spray, everything is there underneath. And no, you know, when when it comes to personal hygiene, ladies, we really should pay attention to our mm-hmm. hair care and hair treatment because it's very, very important. And also to the guys too. Let's not just make this, you know. Just for the females, some of the guys that you know carry have afro and all of those those stuff. If you should brush their hair, you see a lot of stones and rocks on you know, the dust that starts falling yeah, out. Yeah, lots of combat. Combat. exactly. And please, even so, even if you are not on afro, exactly. no way to cut your hair. You know, there's some people with overdue. Like you don't know where the shape is coming. You don't know. You don't know where the airline is. You just see everything is joined. Please just know when to yeah. cut your hair. They are all parts of personal hygiene. Mm-hmm. Trust me, it goes a long way to how people view you and how people see you. It really helps. Mm-hmm. So, well, guys, you know, this topic is it's just starting and it's just beginning, but we are going to be going on a short break very soon. I will be right back. Don't go nowhere. Alright. Welcome to Yes, you things matters. And on this show, we are going to be touching every aspect of our daily lives that really matters but has been ignored. Little things like who in this 21st century owns a business with no social media page? Uh-uh. And on time management, some business owners resume work by 11 a.m. And please do not tell me you're still in that relationship with a babe that asks you for 2K urgently. 2K urgently, just that. Or the babe that asks you to solve for her. You. Now, these are the little things we are talking about and we are going to be sharing it with you guys. And trust me, you do not want to miss it for no reason. Mm-hmm. Now to be part of this show, join us on Stunt TV every Saturday, 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. We remain your humble host. We have our faith, Kazim Omolola. Now let's go! Welcome back guys and still on the topic hygiene. Yeah. Now how do you take care of yourself, the types of hygiene and before we went on the break we were talking about personal, personal hygiene. hygiene. Yes. So you know there's still lots and lots of personal hygiene. We spoke about the um, body, uh, that's bathing, we spoke brushing about the teeth, mouth, yeah, yeah. brushing, how, how, how many times you should brush your, your teeth, teeth in a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, on to the next one, we're talking about washing of the ends, especially yes. after the use of the toilet. Yes. You know, yes. we have yes. so many people, like so many people that use the toilet and just come out without washing. And don't wash their hands. Especially like, when so they go for people. a pee. You know, you don't, you don't wash your hands. Please, please, even like, that's even a very small compared to when you use the toilet, like number two. <laughs> when you 
when you just did number two, yeah, and you, and you wash don't wash up and you don't wash your hand, like that's disgusting. That's disgusting. You know, actually, by profession, guys, I'm a microbiologist. You know, okay. so trust me, your nails in school, like. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm obsessed with washing my hands. Like, whenever I do anything, I'm, I'm washing my hands. And I must say, it's because of my profession. You know, in school, we deal with microorganisms. They were not funny. Looking at them, it's irritating at some point. But then that was our course at that particular time. So we just had to get used to it. So you see fungi, we knew what fungi is. It's real. All these um, processes, well, they are real. They are microorganisms. They are there. And they will, they will enter your body. You won't see them. So because of that, I'm always having the mindset of whatsoever I'm doing. There are microorganisms there. There are microorganisms there. So sure. I wash. I'm obsessed with washing my hands. I wash my hands all the time after the toilet, after everything, every single thing. Even when I, I carry do. something that yeah, I don't. Know, I used to feel it. My hands become I don't know thick or something. Yeah, like, I, I, feel, I right. feel it. So even after that sweeping. Else, you should wash your hands. Wash it's hand. very important. And also during this um, COVID nineteen period, washing of the hands really became something that was advised mm -hmm. most of the time. Like we should, if you are watching any um, COVID nineteen advice or whatsoever campaign, you will see wear your nose mask, wash your hands all the time because the the importance of washing of the hands cannot be over overemphasized. Mm -hmm. Like it cannot even if it's all these um, soap. Cream, the advert, yes, wash, especially the what, the toilet, wash always your like the advert is always wash your, your hands. hands. It's very important because this is where germs, germs are real, guys. You won't see them, but they and are for those that keep nails, nails, they don't know. You know, this and is the second always point in, as in the nails. keeping the nails like it's part of personal hygiene. Like, How yeah. to achieve a personal hygiene? How is your nails for those of you that keep nails? Someone like me, I don't keep my nails. I know they always break, it's not intentional, but then it's just it has to be clean at all times because this is where most of the, the germs and microorganisms they enter, they go in the same and you put in your mouth. mouth. So now just imagine just taking all the proteins and swallow. Take Let's even take a spoon for our rice and stuff. Yeah, you swallow like you're a bar, you're all those things. How do you? And the thing is, most people when they want to eat this soil, they don't really take their time washing their washing hands. Washing their hands, exactly. Just like this as all. Eating After all the hard days work, and you have to get lunch or dinner, and you are like, <laughs> and that's all. Come on. At that point, you should use soap to wash your hands. soap to wash your hands and everything. So it really goes a long way, guys. Washing your hands and keeping your nails, maintaining good nails, is also mm -hmm. a vital role in getting good hygiene. Yes. So another type of ways on how to achieve a good hygiene is sleep. Yes, <laughs> research research shows that sleep, sleeping, having a good night's sleep and a good rest is definitely one way to maintain a good hygiene. Well, I would say, I don't know, don't but know my that. own understanding with that is when you say sleep as an hygiene is about your bed is. You know, yeah. you will you will have a good hygiene sleeping on like a three weeks old bed spread. Hmm. You definitely that's that, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. that's also the idea. So like, of how course. frequent do you wash your bed, bed spread, spread, your and pillowcase? Talking about how the you bread, change it? talking about the bed spread, like this is something that people don't even talk about. How many times do you change your bed spread? Like it should be done. Like me, I don't know. I, I don't know. Week. I feel I um, something I try to do every week. Every week, like, yeah. I try changing it. If I don't do it in a week, like at most in two weeks. I'm dodging because I don't know you. We're not. I'm just sleeping on my bed, so I'm, I hardly even stay on the bed. Yeah. Aside from night, I'm not at home throughout the day. So let's say a week, max two weeks, and I'm changing that stuff. But really, in Nigeria, I've seen people that can use their bed spread for like many, many years, in months. Yes, not even a month. <laughs> yeah, really. In African no, homes, that, for that one, no? I would say, I would say, I would, I would say, the cotton. They caught me. to spend years <laughs> before Christmas. As in before you remember. Oh, yeah, the only time it's being watched is when you're the first month. And you know you're expecting visitors. Yeah. You're expecting yeah. family members. That's the only time we Nigerians remember to wash our clothes. I think this is, this is a normal one. This, and, and you should be on that, like, the community yeah. hygiene kind of stuff. Yeah. No, I think that's domestic. Domestic, that's domestic yeah, yeah. Domestic. Of the home and stuff. Domestic 
um hygiene. hygiene. Really, but something if you if you should check this, the cotton is something that is like positioned just directly to the window, so and it's like the one collecting the, 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 the dust, or the dust, like all the dust that's going to go into the house. Your cotton is getting it off for you, but then you're not changing. You should it. just like you can have a manual, like a menu on mm-hmm. how you wash your um, cotton, cotton. bedspread, and that's window blind. Work. For those that don't understand, understand it's called window blind. Yeah, exactly. So that's practically it on you know ways personal. to achieve personal. And I don't know. I also heard or I saw and I read that sharing of towel is not a good idea. No, who, are like sharing, who are you sharing? Who are you sharing the towel? No, no, no. I've, no, actually, I have Give done. I've done spouse. it. No, not even spouse. I've done Give it. Me. I've done it before, even between friends. Like, you no, know, you come over to my place and probably I just washed one um, towel and you want to use it. I just say, like, oh, don't worry, just use that towel. Okay. okay. I do it. I wouldn't know. I do it. Like, mm. I just start to just because I want to. I want to trust. Of course, you just have, yeah, you should be clean now. So, <laughs> so <laughs> just use that towel, please. I know, so, right? Yeah, but it's really. Really wow. a bad idea. I don't know. Do not share so towels. Yeah. I think for me, I have. I don't know. I'm so. I'm such a personal person. I, I don't know how it feel if somebody is using my towel. So I think I have a separate towel for visitors. visitors. Yes. So whenever I have visitors, I know I'm just going to. And toothbrush. I've seen people that share toothbrush. <laughs> people. People go a long way with these things. No, I've seen people, people go a long way. Toothbrush. Are there couples? I wouldn't know. But is I it people? Like between couples. Now, what know. I saw, what I even saw wasn't between couples. It was between two girls, like wow. two females. So I see people that share this brush. This is deep, but then, guys, I hope we're like. If it's, if it's between okay. couples, I think that's still acceptable now. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Couples, is it couples? Acceptable? No, couples are acceptable. Of course, I'm not against that. I don't know. It's acceptable. I don't know, but I feel friends. It's levels. Even with couples, it's still. But see two different people. Even but just though. even when we are sharing brush as a couple, I would like to use the brush first. I will not share my brush no, with anybody. I said as a couple. Even as a I couple, I'm not going to share my brush friend, because because my when it's wet or after I have this knowledge of you've used the brush, I can't. So I'd like <laughs> to do it first. <laughs> but really, I don't know about her. Like, just let us know how you feel. For me, I feel everybody should have their toothbrush so that life will be easier and better. Alright, so after that, so we don't want to waste so much of your time, so we're just going to move directly into why Important. yeah benefits, benefits the advantages i think this is one thing i know that does not have disadvantage there is no disadvantage no. for being hygienic unless you have the obsessive compulsive disorder you can go seek for help but it's really not that bad really it's not that bad it's not a bad thing so that's it now the first the very first important and advantages of having a good hygiene is it prevents diseases yeah it prevents yeah. a lot of diseases you know when you are clean when it comes to hygiene we are not even going into details you know details into our body parts and how you should like take care of it and all of those stuff but i know you guys know how it is done but if you also want us to go into details you can let us know so but when you take care of yourself you just prevent a lot of diseases mm-hmm. from you know coming especially like, okay let's go for a um, Brushing your teeth, you also come to realize that if you brush it, yeah, if you brush your teeth very well, if you maintain your teeth and take care of it, it's going to prevent you from having tooth decay or gum issues. So that's really a nice one for hygiene. Then the next one is bad breath yeah. and body odor. Yes. It prevents you from having these two things. And trust me, it also saves you from embarrassment. Social embarrassment. Social embarrassment. Like, really. you wouldn't want to be in the midst of people that are not like they won't you know do those kind of people that when you are, when you just enter a place and they start leaving you one after the other you might not even notice what's exactly happening. you won't like, even know but yes, when, but when you know when you know it's pretty i also want to ask is there a proper way we can tell someone an individual that oh, excuse me, you have a bad breath or sorry excuse me you have a bad odor is there, well, is there, is there as way? Nigerians, we are yeah. all angry people, so there's no way, like there's no proper give you way. Boss. There's no proper <laughs> way we can of do telling that. someone that. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, you know how to do it. Just do it, expecting a savage response, That's and do it, it with clean intentions. Yes. Not to really and not not the mocking the person, person or yes. not trying please, to like disgrace please. the person out. It's something you can walk up to the person and tell the person personally or privately or better still why don't i don't know for me i think what i do is 
I go get the mentor or something myself. Then I take from me that I do care for. And even oh, if you're nice saying, one. even if you're saying no, I force. I say, oh, so you know what's going to happen? You must take this one. So I force it on you. <laughs> nice. so you take okay, it. That so that's what I do. Or like, I don't just. It's all about total stranger. I'm in my business. I'm okay. sorry, yo. I'm in my business. I have someone who knows you to tell you. <laughs> that's oh, it. really? Like. We should all just try to be clean. And I've also research shows that um, mental illness can also be a way why we people, you know, have poor hygiene. Yeah, because if you notice when you're mentally down, when you're having a mental issues or breakdown, you wouldn't want to take your bath, you don't want your to take always your, messy. Yeah. You are always that's when you before you know some bad others are, yeah. are already generated. So even though we have the the guts and the courage to actually talk to someone about their part of it. Let's do it with caution because at that point you don't know what they are going through. So yeah, that's just... I think okay. I have a question now. Okay. You know, we mm. have people that sweat in the armpit. People that sweat in the loss. Now, is that also part of a bad hygiene or... You know, some people that just sweat naturally. Yeah. Like they are clean, but when they yeah. are stressed, they send the sweat. sweat. So now, is there a way of stopping that, or is that a bad hygiene? Yes. Or? No, it's not. It's not a bad hygiene. Okay. Definitely. No, it's not a bad hygiene. It's just something that I, you sweat. I. You, ha, you just have to know how to manage it. Because before you know, first of all, sometimes sweat stains are shed. Yes. You know. I Change have. Color. There is a particular material that anytime I wear it. I, I usually sweat and the color changes, you know. That's something I have discovered over time. It's white, I don't know, um, it's not linen, I don't know how to explain the material, but I know that once I have this material on, okay, this is going to happen. So I don't go for the material at all. I don't go for such dress because I know that anytime I wait, I'm going to just dress your ancestors. I'm, I'm telling you, and it happened one day, one day it really happened, and I was like, damn it. Why? You know, yeah, you you be free lifting your hand. This you just be like this every yeah. day. Yeah, but then you should know how to you know manage it. So that's why you should for individuals that sweat a lot, you can always carry um, your handkerchief around to clean up your sweat. You should always have like a dozen at home. And always make sure it's clean handkerchief. You don't have to use one handkerchief for over a month. It's white. Without washing. Without washing. Yeah. Without really? washing. People do just, that. Oh my god. People people you go to the extreme. Without washing. People go to the extreme. I've seen people I mean guys, let's be real. We are being real and okay. practical here. People go to the extreme for whatsoever thing they are doing. So let's all for people that sweat too much can just have your handkerchief or you can always go around with your deodorant. Mm -hmm. So when you know you are sweating and you're emitting some unpleasant odor, okay. you can just Spray yes, up so. the room and everything. So yes, that's practically it on hygiene. Do you have more? No, I think that's all. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this particular topic. I hope so. It's really nice. I've, I learned one or two also today from my colleagues. So it's, you know, it's all a learning process. So guys, thank you for joining us once more. We remain your host, Ihato Faith. Hazima Mulanda. Also, don't forget to, stu to tune in to Stunt TV. S-T-O-N-T TV. -T -T same, yes. same time, same channel. channel. Yeah. 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. And please do not forget to click on the subscribe button. It's just yes, right there. The subscribe button. Do not forget to click on it. All right. Thanks. <laughs>